Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution, and today we're going to be talking about RGB Link's Tau 1 Pro. It's this tiny little box here mounted on top of this DSLR camera, and it is capable of switching between USB and HDMI inputs and outputting them via RTMP or HDMI or even NDI. Let's take a closer look at all the different cool things that this can do. For starters, I'm going to take you on a tour of all the inputs and outputs on the device right now. I don't have it plugged in or the LCD touchscreen would be um, on, but I couldn't show you all the plugs uh, as easily. So we have uh, two UVC connectors on the bottom. These are webcam style connectors that will take in um, any kind of webcam or other UVC video device. We've got a USB slot for recording. That can be a USB stick or a USB drive. We've got a quarter 20 mount, so you can put it on a tripod or mount it uh, on a hot shoe on top of your camera. On the side here, we have our HDMI ins and outs. So we have a total of four cameras. That's two USB ins and two HDMI ins, and then we have um, an HDMI out. So if you want to run a projector or a monitor or just send it off to any other kind of equipment. On the top, another quarter 20 uh, power button, and on the back here we have two battery slots. So this can take a regular NPF style, and then it can also take another uh, kind of battery. And then on this side we have our USB-C power, and then we have uh, Ethernet from which we can stream or send NDI, and then we have audio in and out. So I'm just going to plug a couple of these cables in, and presto, we have our video. Um, the unit is on, and let me just give you a quick update as to what we've plugged in here. We have the HDMI out going to a monitor. We have the uh, HDMI in coming in from this PTZ camera. We have a USB camera coming in. We have a disk to record to. We have our Ethernet. We have a 3.5 mil jack, and we have power. Um, I wanted it to lay flat, so I didn't put a battery in it. Let me give you um, a little overview of the update. It's pretty simple. Uh, we can cut between our two cameras. So here's our USB camera, and here is our HDMI camera. And we have two others that are not currently used. And then we have um, settings over here, which give us an overview of uh, the system is currently running at 1080p 30. There's no Bluetooth. Um, network settings, uh, NDI is currently turned on, and I have that because I was actually just using the NDI to record um, this camera through the Tau 1 through into vMix. Um, but uh, an important note is, is that you can't use NDI and RTMP at the same time. So the unit comes with NDI on, uh, but I think a lot of you are going to want to stream with this. So in order to access the RTMP, you can come in here to settings and turn NDI off. And then when we go into um, the settings here, you'll see instead of an NDI uh, dialog here, you have a streaming dialog. So this is our test, uh, test setup to, to that we tested to stream with. But I'll go back to uh, turning NDI on. And when we come back to the settings, we'll see that we have an NDI dialog, which allows us to make adjustments to all the important uh, NDI things like its name, what part of group it's uh, part of. Uh, it can even switch between NDI HX and full NDI. Uh, I, of course, uh, have it in NDI HX at the moment. The other things that it does is it is able to record. Uh, and again, that's something that can only be done with NDI turned off. Um, if we come in here to recording settings, um, we can record to this uh, USB stick. So I can start to record this, and it lets me know that I'm recording now. And there's um, uh, battery indicators in the upper right. It also uh, has an indicator that says whether there's um, uh, a USB stick plugged in, uh, the name of the file it's recording, the IP address it's connected to, uh, the resolution of the um, current thing that's plugged in, what the current input is, uh, audio settings, and um, more input parameters for audio. So that's the, the general UI. The RGB Link Tau 1 Pro can be used in a lot of different ways. We can use it as an on-camera monitor. We can use it as a device to stream to Facebook or YouTube. We can use it to switch between two UVC webcams 
uh, and record them. We can use it as a USB to NDI encoder. We can use it as an NDI submixer to feed an NDI switcher upstream. There are so many different applications for this and it's in such a convenient form factor that there's definitely, it's definitely worth taking a look at. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us at usbroadcast.co. Once again, I'm Eric Pratt, and thanks for watching.